Hi everybody. Uh, what we're going to look at today is um, how to create cloth in Maya. Uh, so what I've set up is just a kind of a simple bed here. We're going to make uh, like a bed sheet that will drape over the mattress and bed frame. All right, so let's get started. Uh, it's pretty easy. You want to make sure that uh, first we need the plane. So I'm going to drag out a plane that'll be above this um, this bed. So uh, the best place to go is the top view, and we'll take a look here. By the way, if you want a wireframe, you can press 4. And I'm going to drag out, I um, want it to be a little wider, maybe a little longer. It's going to drip, oh, drape over the bed. So we've got a plane just like that. Okay. I'll move this up into the air. All right. You don't have to go too far up in the air. Uh, just This is fine. And what we need to do is for it to be able to drape, you need to add divisions. So I'm going to come over to my polyplane over here, tab, and I'm going to drag up the amount of subdivisions. And I'll max them to 50-50. Uh, but that can always be added, so I will. I'm going to go 80 and 80. Now, depending on your computer, um, you know, you can go higher if you want. Uh, I don't like cloth that bends with square faces, so I'm going to do something called triangulate. So we're going to come up to mesh and triangulate, and what that will do is it'll make triangular faces, and it'll just have a more natural way of, of uh, folding when we animate it. I'm then going to come up to uh, the modeling dropdown, and we need to be on the FX tab. Yes, and up here you'll see end cloth. So I just want to make sure that I'm in object mode when I'm selecting on this. And I'm going to go to end cloth, and you see here, create end cloth. Okay. Then I have to decide what are the shapes that I want it to collide with. So this one and this one. I'll just leave the pillows alone. And I'm going to go to end cloth, and these will be passive colliders. So I'm going to go to passive colliders. That's it. We're ready to play. So I'm just going to press play, which is right down here. And you can see it's going to drape over the bed. And it will eventually slide off. You could add friction and things like that. You're welcome to um, play around with some of the numbers in here. I'm going to stop and rewind because uh, I'm going to, I think it was a little large. I'm just going to shrink it some. And I'm going to play again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause when I like it. So I'm going to pause it right here. All right. So it's now we, we need to tell it not to be animation anymore. I don't want to close this scene and come back at frame one. It'll all be reset again. So to tell it not to be an animation anymore, I'm going to come up to edit. And this is while we're selected on it. Edit, delete by type, history. And that will get rid of all of its history. It won't remember that it was an cloth anymore. So now it's just a model. I could move it. I could um, scale it. You know, whatever you want to do with it. It's just a model. There's no animation, you could see. Um, one thing I do like to do also, we'll see if it works here. Uh, I don't like that it looks paper thin, this cloth, so I will extrude it. And with the blue arrow here, I'm just going to just extrude it, give it just a bit of thickness, and I feel like that makes it uh, look a little better. Okay. And uh, that's it. So. Uh, give it a try.